Robinson putting the pressure on there. And he tackles Cole. Robinson claiming an elbow. Well, he just a little tug of the shirt and the elbow definitely came out. Aim towards Rufus. Bart Williams back in. Will it fall for Johansson? Well, the flag had stayed down. That was an opportunity for Jonathan Johansson on his recall to the side. He's back after being dropped for a couple of games. And at full stretch, he could not make the most of it. It's Lisby. Jensen. Johansson. Jensen. Building carefully, Charlton. And a good effort coming in from Charlton. Lisby getting on the end of it. Nice passing move. Playing with a lot of confidence in these early stages. Fierra's made a good run as well. Henri's gone near post. It's gone far post to Will Taunt! Kylie with the save. Fabulous Arsenal move. Vieira surging forward. He looked for Will Taunt, who scored five times already this season. But Kylie showed what excellent form he's in right now. Young. Robinson having a good tussle with Ashley Cole. Young forward. And the header coming in from Jason Yule. Yule has played every game this season, scoring once. Well, in the end, it was a pretty decent chance and a fair header. Lujny is Vieira. Can he find Burkamp? He can. Pulls it back. Henri! What a fantastic goal from Thierry Henri. Last season's golden boot winner with an absolute scorcher that ripped into the net past Dean Kiley. The Arsenal scoring record continues. The 45th straight game they've scored in. It sets a new record for top flight football in this country and what a peach it is. Fantastic goal. The champions are ahead. Seaman can come and claim that one. Oh, what a great throw as well. Will Tord's after it. He's got Burkamp to his right. And he finds him. Back in towards Vieira, just too strong. Henri for Will Tord. The support from the midfield comes now. Tolo Kure off the post. Colo Ture, who scored his first goal for Arsenal against Chelsea, is so close to his second. David Seaman getting a lot of support from the Arsenal fans. And he's called into action here. He's out, but he's lost it, Lisby. And it was Jason Yule who had the shot. Seaman claiming that the boot was up high.
Nasty moment for Arsenal. It was Lisby who made the challenge, Yule with the shot. And from looking very comfortable and coasting, a bit of a wake-up call for Arsenal. Oh, Williams, Yule can turn. Jason Yule. Lisby, did he reach it? He couldn't. Johansson was in the middle, here is Lisby, Johansson! And his scoring drought continues. Jason Yule with one goal this season. Is it Bolton and a win? Just in front of uh, Johansson. Lisby was there. And then Johansson with a complete air shot. Rufus has stayed in that advanced position. Yule, this is more promising from Charlton. Teasing it in, Seaman. Great goalkeeping. Commanding the area. And a nice little roll out for Edu. Can also hit them on the break. Vieira's making a run down the left. Can Edu see him? Here he is, it's Vieira. Passing to Wiltor. Can he finish it? He can! Silva Wiltor scores his sixth goal of the season. It's classic Arsenal on the break. And it's 2-0 to the champions. It's a great goal again. Edu only just on as a substitute. No signs of tiredness from Patrick Vieira there as he made that run. And the pass to Wiltord. It's another fabulous goal from this slick passing machine that is this elite Arsenal 11. Oh, Will Tord as Kylie's caught in no man's land. Will Tord's away from him. Henri! A lot of red shirts back. Well, nearly a very major embarrassment for a very talented goalkeeper. As he came out, Will Tord got away. But, uh, Got away with it. Luke Young's boot there. Kanu. Trying to get away from Fortune. Henri. Edu's unmarked in the middle. If Henri can find the ball, he's looking for him. Here it's Edu. Oh, fabulous goal. Absolutely beautifully executed. Edu gets his first goal of the season. And Henri's cross from the left-hand side was absolutely inch perfect Henri saw him measured it and Edu's head did the rest the scoreline reflecting Arsenal's dominance it's another quality goal from the champions. And that's it. Arsenal extend their unbeaten league run to 27 games. That is a new club record. It better as George Graham's team of 90-91. They're unbeaten in 35 domestic games. And of course the scoring record goes on and on. They're back on top of the league, now for the Champions League. It's Charlton nil, Arsenal 3. Oh, thanks for your time. I guess not the team you want to play when you're looking for your first home points of the season. Well, you know, um, the next time going to Man United. You know, we look at the fixtures, we know what's coming up and, and what we've got to do. We haven't won here at home. The, the first game here at Chelsea, we should have won. Went down to 10 men for an hour and 10 minutes and Spurs come and done a job on us and played well. And today, in all fairness, uh, the last thing you want is to let a goal in a minute before half-time against a team like this. Uh, because they, they've got so much ability to hit you on a break and, um, you know, the game was set up for them. So, we've been beat 3-0. Um, 
I was disappointed that you know we let it slip near the end there and it, it may have scored another one because I don't think we deserve that today. Are they the benchmark in the Premiership at the moment? Do yeah, I think they are. I think the way they, they won the league last year and obviously the way they've started. Um, and they've got so many goals. Different people score and I think you know it's no secret. They've got that pace. They've got so much pace um, around the pitch that they can break from anywhere. And uh, you know, if you're attacking, you're probably at the most vulnerable. And if you defend deep, then they've got ability to, to take you in a final third and cause damage. And it must be a nightmare to play against tactically because they're so fluid; they can change things so quickly. Yeah, but um, you know, I've, I've said to my players, you know, some games you play and you know you've got to take it on the chin, and uh, we've got to take that on the chin today because um, we've been beat by a tremendous side. There's no, there's no two ways about that. And you know, a team that. If they don't win the league, and if they don't perhaps do very well in the Champions League, then that will be a major disaster for them because they're, they're entitled to, to, to do very well in both, both competitions this year.